It's an all-new season of one of sci-fi's most magical shows where magicians show off their tricks to a uh, panel featuring one of our own, or both of our own, Penn and Teller. That's right, and one of those magicians is a local, Greg Dow. He's here with us today to tell us more about the show and show us some of his tricks as well. Hello, how Hello. are you? Oh, Welcome. Sleeve, I see. Congratulations on making it onto the show. Oh, thank you. What do you do in front of Penn and Teller? Well, basically, the show is like, uh, the best way to describe it would be Iron Chef with Magicians. So they take two teams of two competitors, put them together, they go up against another team of two, whoever wins that round goes up uh -huh. against the home team or the Wizards, which actually has a couple of other Las Vegas uh, featured magicians in it, and then whoever wins that wins $10,000. Wow. Uh, Penn and Teller are the judges of the show, along with Jason Latimer and Kristen Gerhardt, who are also big in the magic world. Did you win it? I can't <laughs> say, Darn, but tomorrow it night, <laughs> it, it, it's the premiere episode, tomorrow okay. night you get to watch it. Fantastic. And you've already shot the show, as you mentioned. Shot how did you hear about the show, or how did the show hear about you? It's actually kind of neat. The, the show itself was created by a Las Vegas, he used to write for the Weekly out here in Las Vegas. His name was Rick Lax. He actually created the show in his Ooh. living room. It went from a YouTube pilot to a full-fledged, got picked up by sci-fi show. And so Rick had known me from doing Magic Around Town. I do a lot of magic. Uh, at various places, I do the Link, where the giant oh, Ferris wheel yes. is. I do a show out there twice a week on Mondays and Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. uh, I do a show at the Desert Club Resort, which is one of the local resorts in town. I do close-up magic there. Mm -hmm. uh, I do private parties at Senior Frogs when they have all sorts of things. And I do a lot mm -hmm. of other private shows in town. So you're all about magic. How'd you get I, into it? Uh, well, you know, a lot of kids get a magic set when they're a kid. And they get so enthralled with magic, they got to become magicians. That wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I got a magic set when I was a kid. I couldn't figure a darn thing out. But I wanted to meet girls in college. Oh. So it turns out girls like magic tricks then, and then I learned a few more, and that's when I really Would it be it. easier to pick up the guitar? <laughs> I grew up for it. Oh. No, absolutely. I promised my parents I'd never grow up to be a long-haired musician. Uh -oh. So uh -oh. instead, okay. long-haired with magician. a small technicality, I can there still do this. Okay. Now they still love you. I they believe they that's great. And you mentioned where people can see you. Do you have a website as well? I do. It's uh, gregdow.com. You know, the best last name and first name I in the business right there. Gregdow.com. I do uh, private parties, uh, corporate events. I do a lot of when people come to town and they have their big, uh, what are they called? The trade show. Yeah, the I trade, do trade shows, show. Yeah. So if, you want, if you're having a party and you want to spend a little more money on it and have it be an amazing experience, right there, website, you call me, I hook you up. All sorts of crazy We could do a show together. It'll be okay. Dow and Dow. I don't know what I would do, but I would know what you would do. What, what, what would you, what <laughs> would you do? Can I be on the show too? I don't is, know. Is yeah, cool that would be fun. I could be the person you chop in half there. On, uh, you that'd could. be great. He could pop out of the cake. I, well, I, I could, I've popped out of a few cakes <laughs> in my <laughs> time. It's very true. That's how we got the gig here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Shh. <laughs> now, you're going to do a little I'm going to do a little illusion for, for you right now, a little, little close-up magic. Okay. That's my specialty. I do a lot of close-up magic in town. So I figured we're in Vegas. I want to do something that one of my idols did. This is something Copperfield did on oh, TV, okay. one of my wow. favorite things. Um, Hammer. Yes. Do you have a $20 bill on you by any chance? I see you haven't won the $10,000. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> let, me I, let me see what I have here for you. If not, you've been in Vegas way too long. <laughs> Here now, I am going to give it back. If I wasn't going to give it back, I'd... Please do. That's my <laughs> money for the rest of the month, my friend. If I wasn't going to give it back, I'd dress up as Elmo and stand <laughs> on the strip. That's a whole different thing. Right. Now, Copperfield borrowed a guy's 20, and he changed it into 100. Oh. I, I'm going to try to do you that for you do that all right day now. long for us. Now, the first thing he did is he made sure the bill wasn't counterfeit. Won't work with a counterfeit bill, so I have a little counterfeit checking pen. I'm going to make a mark right here on the bill. If that mark changes colors, you guys can't... Really yeah, see I don't think yeah, yeah, no, I'll make the mark a little bit darker. Should be easier to see. Right there. Okay, uh, wow. Right. Everybody see the mark on the, the bill? Good. <laughs> All right. Now, if that leaves a mark on the bill, it means the bill could be counterfeit. I'm going to move the pen out of the way. <gasps> Didn't seem to leave oh a mark on the bill. Oh, my goodness. So it must not be a counterfeit bill. That means I can try to do the trick. Now, what Copperfield okay. did, this, he, it was great. He took the 20 and he folded it up and he added a little bit of friction and a little bit of heat to the ink on the bill. If you add just enough friction and just enough heat, you can get the ink on the bill to start to move. Not only does that ink start to move, it'll start to smear. Not only does the ink smear, you can get it to change to a one hundred dollar. Uh, that's that's, a, that's a, a, a dollar, dude. <laughs> 
It's a dollar. Huh. Yeah, that, that was my money for the rest <laughs> of the month. It's, it's why I'm here in Copperfields at the MGM. <laughs> um, me. I, I feel bad. <laughs> um, let me, let me, I, I think I know what I did wrong. Um, <laughs> let me do it again for you. Okay. Give Please. me another 20. I, uh, no, yeah, no, no, okay, no, no, so no. I am tapped out, my you friend. Are I am tapped out. All right, I think I know. I actually, what I did is I folded it wrong. If you get the folds just right, let's see, we'll add that friction back in. We have to hurry. All right, I'm running out of time. Yes. I think I can get. Can you do it? There we go. I think I see the one. <laughs> what, what? This is going to take all day. This really is. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to eat for the rest of the Who month. Who is Shocker? Who is Shocker? Hammer, welcome to Vegas. Uh, uh, thanks. <laughs> Shocker is my alter ego. Uh, oh, that's yeah. my comedy character. I'm also known as the world's only pro wrestling magician oh. here in Vegas. Yeah, there's Shocker right there. You're scaring Shocker. me right now. Yeah. Shocker does a lot of the comedy clubs in town. That was actually shot at the Sapphire Comedy Hour, one of the classiest comedy oh, yes. shows in town. Uh, it's, it's actually a really good <laughs> show. They, they get guys who've been on HBO and Comedy Central at that one. Uh, that, uh, you can also see Shocker at Jeff McBride's Wonderground, which is the third Thursday of every month at the Olive in Henderson. That's Very a cool. crazy. We gotta go. We gotta go. We're getting all right. We're getting all right. Catch out Greg on the all new season of Wizard Wars. The show premieres tomorrow on Sci Fi at 10 p.m. To find out more about Greg and how you can book him, just head to the website or call the number on your screen.